Hello everybody, this is a tutorial segment about the Cape 14. I will explain the basic simulation procedure in this software. I will import the database and build the simple single machine infinite bus system and model the relay and uh, CT and VT for some buses first you can see that it has some different toolbars and you can see different modules for cape first of all you should open the database so as you saw in my previous video I prepared some different database for CAPE and also for PSSE to use as the CAPE TS module. So I will choose the protection database and open this one. Another window will pop up that you can choose different options and the short circuit computation type I use IEEE and keep islanded buses and with or without load currents and also if you have a graphic file you can choose it from here and browse that file right now I don't have it so I didn't select any file so I will open this one and in this upper window you can see the procedure and on the last line it said that building short circuit network is completed on the data tree you can see different bosses of the database so right now I don't have any one line diagram but I will build it from this database so you you should choose one line module from here and by drag and drop the buses from data tree you can build the one line diagram I choose bus 1 and by drag and drop it to here it will be connected so I have bus 3, bus 4 bus 3 bus 4 Five. by going on each elements you will the cursor will write the name of that one right now it shows that bus one or this is the line this is the transformer this is the breaker, the breaker shows by the square different voltage level shown by different colors right now this part is 22 kV and this part is 400 kV which is used by the purple color you can change the position of the lines and buses and build your network
now you can save this one line diagram by going to the file option and save save one line diagram This extension is GF. I will uh, I arrange the buses and the single machine infinite bus. One line diagram is prepared. The generator is is on bus one so by dragging on the one line diagram you can zoom in and zoom out so the generator is connected through the bus one and with the breaker and it's connected to the transformer And bus 5 is another generator which is the infinite bus. So, if you see on the left side of the window, there is a data tree. So, you can find all the elements of the circuit in this tree. So, for example, if I put my mouse on bus 2, it will the data tree will be open and show the bus 2 with the r red color. So, for bus 3, you can see that. And also, for a very big network, if you can't find where is the bus or branch by right click on any element you can choose find in data tree we just show it here so Right now I wanna add protection elements on bus 223 and 224. So on the breaker on the bus 2 by double clicking on that one another window will be pops up. I will set the CT for this breaker so by clicking on add city the city window will open so I will add the data for this city so first you should you should fill the red blanks so it is required to fill all of them so I will put a name for my city line 2 to 3 city de designation is bus side the connection is Y I wanna choose 120 ratio and put the green tick so right now one city is added to this one and also I want to do the same as the boss VT so I should choose a name for that V1 
18 plus 2 primary tab it's 400 kv bus so I will put 400,000 and 400 kvpt and this one and add a secondary vt02 its name and its style is x and its ratio I wanna choose 1000 so I use the secondary ratio 400 so now I have a 1000 ratio so by again clicking right now it's it shows that the VT ratio is 1000 for each of the protection zones you should define LZOP so I will add that so it's a line type it's from line from bus 2 to bus 3 on line 1 circuit 1 and its name is L Z P 2 2 3 so right now we have the protection zone so you can add the trip logic to this one and also protective devices so i want to add a distance relay to this protection zone i will choose relay you can put recloser or fuse so in this window I will select the device name relay 23 I put 23 and the it's select the style and manufacture of the relay I wanna put a distance relay SEL for example SEL 321 or whatever you need here I will put this one and there are different 3 to any one I will choose 5 ampere relay different elements and settings of the relay will shows here and you can set the relay by changing these variables so first I will connect the CT that I put on this breaker and connect the VT I put on bus 2 and If you see on the breaker sides, for those one that I didn't put any devices, you can see that it said no protection. But for this breaker, it says that it has one LZOP protection zone, one relay, one CT, and also for bus one, a uh, bus two, I put one VT that is shown here. I will do the same procedure for line. 2 to 4 
it has the VT right now which is put on bus 2 I will add CT the same ratio for this seat and I will put protection zone here I will add the relay for this line and the same manufacturer and model. connect this specific CT and VT to this relay Now I have two different distance relay on line 2 to 4 and 2 to 3. So next I wanna do the relay configuration. So I will open the CG module coordination graphics. Now I will go to bus 2, I will close all of these and to show you that you, how you can access to these relays. By going to that buses, bus 1, 2, you can see that right now we have different protection zone LZ23 and LZ24 I will open the relay tabs and it has different elements but for zone 1 and zone 2 of the relay the distance element is M1P and M2P so by right click on that element and choose initial display it will show the line from bus 2 to 3 and the element the protection zone 1 is shows by the red one and I will add the zone 2 of the relay to this figure I choose add to existing display so right now I it has zone 1 and zone 2 but there are 0 so I will click on that one and that bus and choose the distance 1 now I will 
right click on that boss and choose the distance element so it pops up and I will go to the common tab you can see the different name of the elements so by choosing the appropriate number for these elements the protection zone of the relay will be set so the Z1P is the radius for the zoom one and I will choose 5 and the zoom to 8 and right now the PM zoom is noun but I will choose two and the angle of this zoom I will choose 80 right now by these settings you can see that the zoom one covered almost the line 2 to 3 and the zoom 2 covers some part of the forwarded line I will add the next line to this bus by right click on the bus and add the forward looking branch it has just one line and I will add that too so now you can see that the zoom 2 is covering that line some part of that line you can decrease or increase of this radius of these circuits so I wanna save this modified setting select all and right now it's it will be saved you can see the details and the calculation of this relay settings there is also another module relay settings that will do these stuff automatically by choosing the relay and the elements again I we should repeat this procedure and set the relay for the line 2 to 4 I will choose M1P and initialize the display and M2P add to existing display I right click on the bus and choose the elements for this one five for zoom one and a for zoom two and the protection angle AT. I will add the forwarded line from bus 4 and also I wanna add some blinders to this relay I will select the out of step blocking and out of step tripping blinders so it has four out of step blocking and it should be 
one it will be y to be activated and e and this element it will be defined that it will be detect the swing as the inner inner the or outer the elements so I will choose inner and this is the delay for out of step bl bl blocking and out of step tripping so time delay so I will choose three cycles for out of step blocking and one and a half for out of a step three ping. So x one t five t x one b five r five and l five related to the inner zone. So I will based on this display and plot I will choose the T is related to the top, B is bottom, R right and the left lines. So I will choose for the top uh, that is covered all this zoom. So I will choose 10 or 12. And bottom minus two right is five or we can say ten and left is ten now I should add them to this display out of step element 5 the left part should be negative now you can see that it's a rectangular blinder so I can change the left and right resistance that to set this blinder accurately so change it to minus 5 and for outer blinder the top one I will choose 15 right for bottom and for right is 20 and minus 10 for the left part and I will add out of the steps number six to this part. Now you can see the relay settings. So I have zoom one, zoom two, and inner and outer blinders. And I set the relay time dealing delay for blinders. So I will save this one. and it has been saved now I define the settings for two protection relay relay one and relay two so I wanna add the time delay for zoom two so I will go to one line diagram and open the relay window so 
you can see different elements that I set on the previous part so you can find different values here so by going to common tab you can see that the angle I set is 80 and the zoom 1, zoom 2 radius and out of a step blocking 1, 2, 3, 4 and out of a step delay is inner and out of a step blocking delay is three cycle and out of a step three ping is one point five second the top impedance is twelve and the bottom one is minus two the right one is ten and the left one is minus five the other blinder the top one is fifteen I will disable the zoom out of the blocking three and four, and I will also set the time delay for zoom two. The zoom one is is instantaneous, but zoom two has some delay. It's typically five cycle. So the element Z two PD is five cycle. So right now I set the blinder for zoom word relay one on the line two two three in a different way from the previous setting of the relay so I will show that in the coordination graphics that I set the blinders for this one too this is relay on the line 2 to 4 but I wanna show the relay for line 2 to 3 so I will initialize this play and zoom one zoom to add to existing display and the inner blinder hope I set it choose a good setting for this one and let me see that right now you see that it is really clear that the blinding setting are not appropriate so I can change the values here again so by double click on this blinder one and going to common tab and going to blinder settings so based on this figure I can change my settings for example, right and left resistance here, X5, I can change it to 5, 
and the top one I can change it to 10 and for the outer blinder bottom is too much so I can I can I should choose it minus five and it's updated but I should change the left and right this one I will choose eight for left for right one and minus 8 for the left one so now you can see that the impid the apparent impedance moves toward the relays from right side of this zooms so it pass to outer and inner blinders and then reach to the protection zones so it seems that our setting is appropriate and it can detect the fault and also discriminate this parsing from the fault condition so I will save this settings select all now by by setting the relays and the protection zone 1, zone 2 and the blinders and the specific time delay for each of these protection zones the system is ready to do the simulation and apply fault to the system but another thing is that we should define the trip logic for the relay so so that is make a decision that when and why the relay should be tripped I will explain this procedure in the next video